was really proud of the kids. They um, worked really hard for this uh, show, and so a lot of entries went in, and very few were chosen, so I was especially proud this year. So I was really disappointed that I didn't get into the art show this, uh, this last year, but this year I was actually really motivated to finish the piece and submit it. My piece has a skull with flowers coming out of the eye, some of the eye sockets, and it has flowers surrounding it. So the metaphor that I chose with it was uh, life after death. So you have a skull representing the death portion, but you have the flowers coming up out of the, the skull to represent the life that comes right after it. I'm very proud of her. She has come a long ways from just drawing simple cartoons to making stuff that is more thought-provoking. Positive things could come from it. Like you can see the flowers are beautiful and they're blooming, but it, it came from a result of something dying. Well, kind of like, because for me, I want to live in the big city. And so it kind of gave me the inspiration for that. The eyes are the windows to the soul. That you could see, like you could see in them, you could see what they can be, or not judge them for how they look, but how they are. I was excited because I didn't think none of my work could get into exhibit because I haven't, I did mediocre work before. So I really tried my best in that one to get in. Because the lion is like one of my favorite animals for symbol of strength and like courage. I think I'm like just like it. I focus on the details, like the lining of the fur, the skin, so it like look realistic. It was looking up because I was thinking of my grandma and she's in she's in heaven. So I wanted to like resemble that. I tried looking at it as in like a positive way because you know when you think the world revolves on you, you're really like greedy and you're self-centered, but I wanted to see more like empowerment. Because since I chose that, the world realms are on you, my brother, he actually like told me like you should have like a dress or something moving so you get the movement. And so I thought of dancers and I saw this picture I really, really liked, so I used her. I was really happy. Because art is something I want to pursue in my life. And you know, it being acknowledged was really awesome. I felt kind of like my art was actually kind of worth something once it was actually uh, honored and with that ribbon. Actually, I made the picture first and then I tried to look for a suitable metaphor. I really like how everything was, the ship and the whale were blending in together and just coming into one. It just felt kind of like, you know, grateful that was it was accepted. If you ever seen uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, the animators, not, not the movies, they kind of have like a creative art style. And there's a scene I remember from my child where it was basically a scene where there was a pond and they had koi fish. So I thought of Better Half because in that show, Better Half meant that there was balance and peace to the universe. So. Well, what we did is we did a lot of talking about what metaphors are. Um, and it, with uh, kids, it, the difference between metaphors and similes became the big issue. So they came up with some really good ideas. And then, of course, I step in and make small corrections where need be, but I really try hard to make sure that the work is the students' work. I don't step in and do it for them. Or All the kids that ended up in the show are magnet students, so that was particularly great. And so it's nice to see how they progress and uh, get more independent and more assure themselves and their talents. 